Hello everybody. Right, I'm just doing a little update of where I'm up to with my loco. Um, I think I left you on my last video where I took my boiler outside with all, all its fittings on and did a, a bench steam test of it. I think that was my last video. I steamed it up uh, with, my, with, my with my propane torch and uh, did a full test in steam which was successful. You can see that see that in my last video. So where I'm up to now then I've now got my chassis painted up. I've done the buffer beams in red and the rest of it in black. I've got my axle boxes painted in black and I've just finished painting the wheels. In fact they've still got the masking tape on. I've just took the masking tape off this one and um, I've got me I've managed to get them all painted up now. So one of my next jobs will be to fasten one side, one set of wheels on the on one side onto the axles. I can't do both sides until it's till they actually fitted into the frame because I've got to set the the cranks up. So I can do one side. So what my plan is I'm gonna I'm gonna lock tight one side on then I'm going to leave it for a day for the Loctite to go off and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to, put a, I'm going to pin them half in the axle and half in the wheel and I'm going to use these 3 16 I tensile grub screws the 3 16 BSW uh, and to make sure, make sure I drill them half and half in the wheel and the, the axle I've made this little jig up spigot on the inside I'm going to use that to locate in my axles in the hole where my brass oil nipples are going to eventually fit it's a 6mm hole and that's going to locate into that central hole and then I've drilled an hole in the jig and that hole is going to guide my drill exactly half and half in the wheel and the axle once I get a clamp on it there that'll guide me drill and then once I've got that drill I can tap it out to uh, 3 16 BSW and put my grub screw in and lock tight a grub screw in each side and that'll belt and brace the wheels then they'll never come they'll never move and also uh, my next little job is going to because I need my axle pump to be made to put on the rear axle before I can put both sets of wheels on so that's going to be my next job after I've locked tighted them on moving on to the uh, axle pump and in the book it tells me to make a, a bronze strap on a steel tumbler that's my tumbler that fits on the axle well I'm doing it the opposite way because I, I already had this casting of this strap in cast iron so I'll just make this out of cast iron and make the tumbler out of bronze instead of steel I'm just doing it in reverse and I didn't actually have any bronze big enough in uh, <coughs> the diameter I needed so I've just silver soldered um, two pieces together to give me a solid piece, the, 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 the diameter that I need which is 2 inch so that's gonna, that bronze is going to make this tumbler and this casting here is going to make this strap and I've just actually been on my milling, milling machine with that and uh, I've just skimmed the top faces up parallel to the centre line then I'm, I'm now about to turn it over and mill, and mill the bottom faces to the thickness and then once I've done that I can then drill the holes straight through for the clamping bolts and when I've got those holes drilled I can then saw it in half put it back in my milling machine just skim the faces up then I can bolt it all back together and then that will go into my lathe then to be bored out of the relevant size for my tumbler and that's going to be my next job 
So I'll probably uh, see you over on milling machine while I'm doing that then. Right, so I'm over on milling machine now and I'm just going to... I've already machined this... let me get my drawing. I've already machined uh, these top top faces. That this, this is the face where the pump strap's going to fit. And these are the shoulders where the bolts are going to go through. So I've already done that side. And I'm now going to turn it over in my vise and machine these bottom um, faces for the bolt holes to go through and clamp it all together. And all I'm doing on the faces that I've already machined parallel to the centre line I'm just going to drop it on two parallels like that clamp it in my vise and then bring these shoulders down to the correct width and then drill for the bolt holes through each side and then once the bolt holes are drilled I can then saw it in half clamp it all back together and then bore it out to the correct bore which is uh, inch and inch and or is it inch and three quarter bore and then that'll fit to the tumbler then when I've made the eccentric tumbler so that's going to fit on that tum inside on the outside of that tumbler Okay then I've got the holes drilled, I've got all the the faces machined up, got the holes drilled for four BA bolts, I'm now going to saw it in half and then just where, the saw, where I've sawn it just skim the faces up, bolt it all together again and then bore it out. OK, I've, I've now drilled the holes and cut it, cut it in half and drilled the holes and I've got it all bolted back together now. And because this is a rough casting, obviously um, there's nothing to set up to. So I just had to split the difference on all the four sides. I don't know if you can see on this video, I've just got my cutter, my boring bars cutting evenly on the joint, where the joint is. And it's not quite cutting on the other two sides yet because it's oval. But I've measured it and it's within a few thousandths of an inch on the side that it's not cutting. And I've set the face up with my DTI and that's within a couple of thou. And I'm now ready for boring it. Round. So I'm just we're on the size that it wasn't cutting. I'm just starting to cut on the old diameter now. So that's within a few thousands that to say it had a rough bore and it I've got it within a few thousands. And once I've got that done, I, I've got to just but uh, Put two holes in for the connecting rod on the pump to fit onto on that flange there. Two holes in that top flange, uh, 6BA for the connecting rod to connect to. Right, I've just took the last cut up and I'm just going to have a quick measure now. And I'm using my telescopic gauges of my outside mark to get, to get my measurement. It's 
to quarter thou undersized. So I'm just going to give that a quick rub with some emery cloth. So I'll, uh, I'll come back to you when I get my tumbler, my, my bronze fitted in lathe to do my tumbler.